Good morning. It is Thursday, which means that is my weekly, like everything appointment. Everything, every appointment, every appointment thing. I guess I should probably leave this on because I have to go back in. I'm out of breath and I'm congested, so I'm sorry for the way that I sound. Whew. Okay, so I just had the ultrasound and everything's good. I. I look, now that I see myself in like the viewfinder of the camera, I look scared. And that's because the babies are just so big. They're getting so big. And that's a good thing. But it's, you know, if I carry them four more weeks, the way, the rate at which they're growing, and I'm sure it can kind of slow down toward the end, but the rate at which they're growing is rapid and they're both on track to be huge. <laughs> There's, there's definitely like a margin of error in these measurements, but yeah. So we, it's really hard to get cute photos of them. She even tried to do like the 4D on baby A's face because she was like so cooperative today, but she couldn't get, like you couldn't really tell, but you can in, whoops. Oh gosh. I'm not, I'm not getting that. Anyway, so then I have my appointment with my OB to just go over everything. I can't imagine anything is going to come up at that part of the exam. She does do, like the only other piece of information that we gather is she does a measurement on my belly to see like how many weeks I'm measuring. But since we do growth on the babies, it's, um, it's not super relevant. And then I have the non-stress test after that. So my OB appointment's not for an hour. I'm trying to decide if I want to go try to like get the non-stress test done first and then come back or if I want to, I might as well because I might as well. It went really well last time and I'm sure she's running behind already and my appointment's at 1030. That's in an hour and she's running behind. So like chances are I'm not going to be seen right at 1030. All right, let's do this. Hi guys, we are starting the vlog at 8.09 p.m. on Friday and we're at the villa. Our goal is, I don't know if we've updated on here, our goal is to move in or like sleep here for the first night on Tuesday. Today's Friday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four days. And we're just doing like little projects I'm, I'm homemaking right now is what I'm doing. So like organizing the kitchen and the pantry and hanging photos and doing stuff like that. And Brad is like installing lights in our new bathroom that we created downstairs, which is almost done and it's really pretty. Um, I ordered some photos from Smallwoods. I'm really bad about like having beautiful photos taken of our family and then not doing anything with them. So I got some ordered finally and they're gonna be really cool up there. And Brad is... It's like pointing down. Rather than I have this box here too. This is all of the things that we're trying to use to MacGyver the level. <laughs> so that we can hang it's blinking, but it, I mean, it looks fine. It's just not all the way up to the little holes. It's surprisingly difficult to hang three photos at the same height and all three level. There's the one that's going in the middle. And then in here, Brad actually came here last night and spent the night. Was it spooky all by yourself? Uh, uh, couldn't be. Uh, so I think I've decided to do, to orient the bedroom this way. Actually, I, I hadn't even thought about it. I thought for sure we would do it here. We would put the bed here with the nightstands on either side. 
But now that I see it, so actually Brad had put this rug down this direction with the bed there. And obviously we would have needed to turn the rug. But then I got to thinking like, what if we put the bed over here? And I think it looks really good. I think the days of like, do not block windows with your bed are kind of passing. And there are acceptable scenarios where you can overlap windows with your bed a little bit. I think technically, like feng shui wise, you don't want your bed facing a bathroom, but I just think this makes more sense. So like whoever sleeps, basically if it was against this wall, <laughs> functionally, I would probably sleep on this side because that would be the closest to the nursery. But if it's here, like both of us have easy access to the bathroom and to the nursery. And it's just a little bit less of a, I don't know, I don't know, it just seems like a better flow, I guess. Instead of having one person that's on that side of the bed that has to walk all the way around the bed to go into here. And um, in here, I can't even remember where this, oh, I guess it was at the, the cabin. That looks creepy the way it's sitting like that. It's like, oh, oh it's against the wall, of course. The kids were in here playing, but that is the rocking chair that my mom rocked me in as a baby. And another cool story, our real estate agent that helped us with the cabin gifted these to us. She is redoing her littlest's bedroom and those were in her nursery. And so she passed those along to us and they actually work perfectly in here. So that's the nursery, I'm out of breath. Um, just getting stuff organized in here. I had like a moment in here where I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we will have two more babies here soon. I can't, I just can't wait to meet them. And then what else can we update on? Uh, my leg, I can't even just say like ankle, foot and ankle swelling. It is like from the hip down swelling. Um, is worse than I've ever had in my entire life. It is unbelievable and it is really uncomfortable. <laughs> so I've been dealing with that. Like, yeah, you're unrecognizable. I know. The socks that I, I wore compression socks today and they are, they were cutting into my, like right below my knee area so badly that Laurie, my aunt, who's a physical therapist, <laughs> you're standing there with a walk. She was Good. like, that's, that's probably making it worse because it's so tight around that area that it's trapping the fluid at the bottom of my leg. And so anyway, I took my compression socks off and it's just, I don't even know. I'll show you, this isn't a good, not a good angle, but I'll show you when I get home. Have you ever experienced a day where you have leg swelling? No. You know what's really weird about it? Like what I wouldn't think is, part of it. What? Hey girl. Are you thirsty? I'm very thirsty. You want water? Do you want Oh, you already have water? Do you want some milk? Because you have some milk at the dinner table still. So like it's right there. It's at your plate, right here. Hey, will you give me a haircut real quick? Yes. Like, I can't, that is as far as like I can comfortably bend my leg before I can, like there's so much tissue that it's blocking me from bending my knee. So like to squat down right now would be impossible. It's so weird. It's a very weird sensation having like all of a sudden legs that are twice the size they normally are. And I was talking about this on Instagram and it's like, I couldn't even estimate how many people are like, go have your blood pressure checked. <laughs> and there's another one. Oh, elevate your feet. Um, so my blood pressure has been checked probably 15 times this week between like the iron infusion I had, my OB appointment, and then my non-stress test that I had after my OB appointment. They have like a cuff on you during that that whole process. So you're having your blood pressure checked every 10 minutes, and then they also check it in the office when you go in for your appointment. So where's the blood pressure? Oh, over there. Blood pressure's good. It's still low. 
And then maybe elevating my feet, if that's all I did, would be slightly helpful. But like when I wake up in the morning, it's just as bad as, or maybe a little bit better, but it's still very swollen first thing in the morning. So it's not hugely helpful either. Ugh. Okay, back to you. Okay. What was on your list last night? Cause you came up, did you, well, I guess we didn't vlog that. Brad yeah. left our house after we put the kids to bed and came over here to work. Came over here, I cleaned up all my tools, got those all out of here. <sighs> cleaned the entire uh, new bedroom, put the couch in there, put some other of the kids' toys in there. Mm hmm Cause there was a bunch of tools in there too. Right, exactly. That was like one hard thing. And then did our master bedroom and then just kept cleaned up. It's cleaned. Yeah, that's like another thing I that. Until in the morning. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I saw you did Wordle at like one something. 106. <laughs> I took a break and did Wordle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll watch one more. We're gonna do one more. One more. Yeah. Yeah, like. Kind of one of the random things that we. Of course, it's nice to have. A functioning potty and like there's certain luxuries that will be great to have before we move in but another thing I thought of was like we need to be at the point where we can clean up all of the tools because it's nerve-wracking being here unless you're I mean you cannot take your eyes off of them for a second because there's nail guns and screw guns and nails and saws and what else uh, like dangerous stuff everywhere so I was like we can't we cannot come move in here until we get all that stuff cleaned up. So. Anyway, I think we should be ready to do it. Anyway. Tuesday. Is that your should goal we, still? Should we do it Tuesday? I don't know. We can wait till the weekend. We can wait till the weekend. Although I kind of would like to do it Wednesday night because then we could, I can take them to school. Oh, true. We'll see. Okay. So Brad has drill this weekend, which is... Are we sure the countertops are coming Monday? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. So the countertops will be here Monday and that will be a like a few hour process. It's not like the floors where, or the cabinets where it can be drug out for weeks yeah. and weeks and weeks. Um, yeah, the countertops will be done done Monday and there will be a sink, like the sink will be installed and everything. So that's when I'm comfortable being here is when the kitchen's kind of done being under construction. Sadly, our microwave doesn't work which is a huge bummer. Here, I'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Hey, Wee. I'm getting my hair cut. What's going on, girlfriend? Yeah, That's haircut. Right. I tried to talk Lindell into getting a haircut, and she doesn't want one. You want a haircut? Yeah, I did. I don't know, honey. You've never you... had your hair cut, ever. No. This haircut yeah. is yeah. really bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was better. He does look better after a haircut, doesn't he? Yeah. Whoa. He's getting your haircut. I'm getting my haircut. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I got my haircut. I don't think you're ready for a haircut yet. I'm, I'm like sad to cut her hair. I know. I don't want to. Okay. All right, well. <laughs> okay. okay. Ta-da! <laughs>